Hey everyone and welcome to a new firmware video. A few days ago a new Xim Manager and firmware came out and in the following video we will take a closer look to find out what they do. But first off, how do you get the new firmware and manager? Go into the Xim forum and scroll down until you can see the Apex area. Under the download section you can find the beta button, click it and you can see all the available beta firmware versions. At the top you can always find the most recent firmware version and right below you can find the new Xim manager. But let's look at the new Xim firmware first. Below the patch notes you can find the download link as well as the instruction steps on how to update your Xim firmware. But let's get to the actual changes of this firmware compared to the previous one. The only change in this firmware is the addition of the Universal Games database. To better understand what that means, let's switch over to the patch notes of the new Xim manager. The new database changes allow the following new additions. First, it adds support for the Xbox Series X and S games. So far, all PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X or S games have used the same aiming mechanic as the old console generation. For example, the aiming mechanic of Cold War on Xbox One is the same one as on Xbox Series X. Therefore, you can use one and the same config for both games. But since a few days, there is one exception though, and that's Destiny 2. Its next-gen console version received a new aiming mechanic, and therefore the Xim Manager now has to support an Xbox Series X or S config as well. The second change to the database is a unification change. In the past, every Xim product has used its own database for game profiles, but with the following firmware update all Xim products will use the same database. That will noticeably reduce the time it takes to add support for brand new games. The third change to the database structure allows the Xim team to add unique characteristics to specific game profiles. It's now possible to assign individual base values such as delay values to game config, so that a config requires less tweaking to feel perfect. The last change is not that interesting, the new manager now supports the latest requirements for the app stores. Now there are two more things I would like to mention. First, the new and old database are not compatible with each other. That means if you want to downgrade to a previous smart translator, you will now have to also downgrade your XIM manager. Otherwise the old XIMMR file will not work. And secondly, the download links for the new manager can be found right below the patch notes. For Android users, just download and install the APK file. And iOS users will have to use TestFlight to get the new manager. So guys, if you enjoy the new Xim firmware or if you happen to find anything that doesn't work as it should, then please share your feedback in the Xim forum. You can find a link to the firmware and manager discussion in the video description down below. Guys, if you like this video, hit the like button or even subscribe to this channel. And for the crazy guys out there, you can even support the channel now by becoming a channel member. I'd really really appreciate that. Channel members also get exclusive benefits, such as early access to all new videos. Also, let me know if you would like me to keep you updated on future firmware releases by doing more of these videos whenever a new firmware comes out. But that's about it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.